What's up guys, I'm Colby Hopper and today we are going to be programming a bumper switch to our VexBot. This will allow our robot to react after bumping into a surface, which can be useful for maintaining your robot's physical integrity and overall repositioning. So, after fixing your bumpers onto the VexBot and plugging a programming cable into the computer, you can begin programming. Keep in mind that your program and mine may be slightly different due to our robot standards, but the process will be the same overall. With EZC open, let's click on Open Project. Then double click Samples, again with Bumper Test, and finally double click the EZC Bumper Test file inside. Now notice what's on the screen, because a lot of it doesn't affect any actual performance. So let's get rid of these two comments here, and this Print to Screen command here. Now that that's done, we need to make some adjustments to our bumper code. Double click the bumper icon here, change the digital input to 1, and then make sure that Retrieve 2 says bumper like so. Now let's adjust the while loop. Double click on while, then in the while bracket here, type 1 equals equals 1. With that, let's add an if statement under the bumper icon by going to program flow and dragging if under the bumper icon. We do this so the overall bumper switch function is only active when the bumper on the VexBot is touched. When this window pops up, click the Add Variable arrow, then click Bumper. Now that Bumper is in the IF bracket under Expression, let's add more to it. Type equals equals zero immediately after Bumper. Then click OK. Now that that's done, we can add in the actual motion that will move the bot when the bumper switch is touched. You can have your robot move however you wish. My goal here is to allow my robot to move in reverse. In order to do that, we'll have to double click on Outputs and drag Motor Module between the two IF brackets here. After this window pops up, change the settings to whatever you see fit. Here I leave my Motor 1 at default. You can drag and edit more Motor Modules if you wish. Here I drag another module for my Motor 10 and then change its settings to Clockwise. Now in order to stop the bot from moving backwards forever, we need to add a wait command by going back to program flow here and dragging wait under the second set motor here. Set the time to whatever you wish. In this case, I'll type 500 and then click OK. Now the bot will only move in reverse for half a second. Now to successfully finish the if statement, we need to add a complementary else statement by going back to program flow and then dragging else under the if statement here. For the else statement, double click on joystick here and then drag the command that matches your bot's intended form of joystick movement between the else statement brackets here. In this case, I used tank 2 motor since I wish to control my 2 motor robot in tank mode. Change the motor values here to their respective numbers on your bot. In this case, I used 1 for the left and 10 for the right then click OK. After that's done, we are finally ready to download this code into our robot by going to Build and Download, clicking it again from the drop-down menu, and finally clicking Yes. Alright, so this extra portion of the video will show you how to quickly program any additional bumpers for your VexBot. If you only wish to have one bumper sensor, then you can skip this part by clicking on the annotation here. To begin programming multiple bumpers, let's say two for example, you will have to copy and paste the if and else statement we made like so. Keep in mind that I'm still keeping the codes within the same while statement. With this copied code, we will have to make two changes. The first change is to set the digital input to the other bumper value, in this case, number 2. The other change we must make is a change to the set motor values, so the VexBot does not move in the same direction as the other bumper when the second one is touched. You can set the direction to whatever you wish. In this case, I simply switched the values. If you have more than two bumpers, simply repeat this process until your needs are met. Then finish with the build and download command.